Hello and welcome to Biology Interest. Today we're going to be looking at the Spearman's Rank Statistical Correlation. So let's start with step one, and that's as with most statistical tests, writing a null hypothesis. And this null hypothesis is going to state that there is no relationship or correlation between these two data sets of data. Let's take an example. There is no correlation between the percentage cover of marram grass on the sand dunes and wind speed. So that's what our example is going to be. Two different variables or two different data sets that we're trying to compare to see if there's some kind of correlation. So now we've got our hypothesis, we can do step two, which is choose the correct statistical test. In this case, we know it's going to be Spearman's rank, but we need to know why it's Spearman's rank. And as we're looking for a correlation between these two variables, we're going to use Spearman's rank because it's a test for correlation, unlike the other tests, chi-squared and t-test, they're not correlation. And this test shows the strength and direction, depending on whether it's positive or negative, of a relationship between two variables. So you're comparing them to see if one is likely to be affecting the other. So that's what we're looking for in this test. So step three is the next step, and that's calculating the test statistic. Or we're going to run the test, essentially. And that's because we're using the Spearman's rank correlation test, we're going to have to use the coefficient using the formula. Rs equals 1 minus 6 the sum of d squared over n cubed minus n. Where Rs is the coefficient, which we're trying to calculate. The sigma is the sum of d is the difference between the ranks, and n is the number of pairs of measurements. So we're going to have to have all this data in a table to be able to know what the difference between the ranks are, uh, essentially. So we could, we'd have to basically write out a big table, which means it's unlikely they'd ask you to do much of this in an A-level paper, except maybe analyzing it and so we'd write out wind speed rank it then do percentage cover of marine grass rank that do the difference between the ranks and then the difference between the ranks squared then add them all up to be able to be use them in the test so what we basically do is we rank first rank wind speed by giving the highest value of one the second highest of two and if they have the same values then you share rank 10 and 11, so they both have 10.5, for example. And then it continues 11, 12, etc. Then you do the same for the marron grass. Then you find the difference between them, calculate d squared, and then put into equation, essentially. Then you do the 1 minus the calculation. So you've now got the test statistic and let's say the value calculated was 0.734 now the calculated value is going to be between minus 1 which is a perfect negative correlation and plus 1 which is a perfect positive correlation and the closer the value to 0 the weaker the correlation between them between these two values so once we have the calculated test statistic, we're going to have to look up the critical values of Spearman's rank for the number of pairs of measurements. So for example, in this test there were 12 pairs of measurements for uh, 12 pairs of measurements for the two variables. And so a probability, so for A level you look at the 5% level of the probability being caused by chance, and at this level a 5% significance is 0.587 for 12 pairs of measurements. Now our ca value calculated of the correlation constant is bigger or greater than the critical value at the 5% level so we can reject the null hypothesis and say that there is a correlation between wind speed and percentage cover of marrow grass. So that's how to run a Spearman's rank correlation test. 
Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos from Biology Interest. Thank you.